In this video, we'll look at some additional things we can add to a Google site and also talk about how to make it more accessible. So when you're talking about accessibility, a lot of that has to do with making things easy for people who have screen readers and you know have problems with vision. One way to do that is through alt text on images. So if you have an image on your site, you click on that image, click on the, the more menu, your three dots. And one of the options is add alt text. Click on that and you can add a description. So this is a picture of Dizzy the dog. So you're saying that the, what this image is. So a screen reader would, would read that out loud for somebody who couldn't see the image. You might also click, this is a decorative image. If it's not really an image of something, but just decorative, you could choose that instead. So you're going to apply. And now a screen reader is going to recognize and, and read that text. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, another thing to think about when you're talking accessibility is links. So here we have a text box. Let's say we're going to create a link, right? Um, and maybe I want to link this to my blog. My blog's website is So if I go ahead and I add that link, a screen reader is now going to try to read that out loud, which is really kind of awkward. So a better idea is to do what's called informative text. So I'm going to click on the link, I'm going to edit, and the text is going to say, so now a screen reader is going to read off the beaten path and will acknowledge that it's a link. Okay. Um, another thing that's not really a great idea, sometimes people will do it, is they'll say, click here for blog. And they'll, um, the word here will be, uh, will be the link. So then they'll put the, the blog there. But again, a screen reader is going to really struggle with what to do with that. So informative text is when you're giving it a title and then putting the link inside that title. Okay. So let's talk about some other things you can insert into this. Um, so you'll see over here on the right, I'm in the insert menu already. You know about text boxes, you know about images, other things you can insert anything from your Google Drive. So if I click on my drive, it's going to open up that drive and I could pick any of these, any of these things here to, uh, to add. So let's just go ahead and we'll do this doc that we used before, click on it, click on insert, and it's going to insert that doc directly into your site. Now, let me go to preview this to see what it actually looks like. Here's the preview, scroll down, here's the Google Doc. And I notice how I can scroll through that. It's still clickable. Um, if this, you know, it, it, it's the whole thing is there as you would expect. Let's get back out of the preview. All right, so other things that we can add. Let's go down, YouTube. You can add YouTube videos. So let's click on YouTube. You can either search for a YouTube video. You could also upload a video. Um, Maybe I wanted a video of a marching band. Here we go, select. And now that marching band video has been embedded. I can move this around. I could resize it. So you have lots of formatting options and you even have some settings uh, on how you want that video to play. You can embed a calendar, your Google calendar. Click on that and you have a choice between which calendar. So maybe this is your ensemble's website. Maybe you have a Google calendar just for that ensemble. You could add that particular calendar. So click on it, click insert. There's the calendar, okay? Um, your settings menu, you can show what view you want it to be. Do you want it to be in week view? Do you want it to be month, exactly what that should look like. And same thing as the YouTube video, you can also move that around. We can add a map. So maybe you want to the map to the school or a map to um, an upcoming event, concert, thing like that. So Arizona State University, they find it, select, insert the map. Now I've got a map on my thing. Um, Docs, slides, sheets, any of these things can be embedded. Go back and up, going back up to the top. You also have the option to actually embed something 
non-Google related. So if I click on the embed, I can embed by a URL or through an embed code. So to kind of show you what that is, um, a tool that I like to use is Padlet. And in Padlet, I have links and I also have embed code. So if I were to copy the link to my clipboard, come back over here to my Google site, paste that link, insert, there's my Padlet. It's been inserted right there into my website. If I go to preview mode, you're going to see all the things we've inserted. There's the Google Doc, there's the YouTube video, the calendar, the map, and here's my Padlet. Okay. So that's one way to do the embed. The other way, I'm probably just going to add another one. If I was doing it by the embed code, again, a lot of tools will give you these embed codes. Click on embed. I'm going to copy the code. You'll notice it's pretty dense. Go back over here, paste the code. Insert. And once again, there's my Padlet. I can resize and it can be, it can be whatever it is that I want it to be. So those are some options. Remember this preview button is a really great way to see everything. And then when you're ready to go, hit publish.